Hey, what's up again? Well, this one's mainly for Joshua and Natalia. You notice that I showed you a picture of your, your brothers, right? Wyatt and Mason. And the reason why I showed you that is because I don't want to hide it, you know? I want to show you who they are because they're, they're part of you now. That's your half baby brothers, right? And I know it may hurt because you know why they were born and how by cheating, you know, and just bad stuff. Wrong times, right? But you have two brothers out of it. So you got to look at the beauty. That's what I'm doing. I let go of all that. That's why I showed you a picture. I want you to see because when I see them, I see you two. I see me. And I know if I do, if you and your sister see them, you're also going to see them. And I know your hearts are full of love. And you're going to say, wow, that's my brother. That's my baby brother. And I want to share about my brothers and sisters. You know, my mom had five boys, three girls, and we grew up real tight. And a lot of different fathers were not all real brothers, like just like you, they're your half brothers. I only have one real brother and you know, one real sister, Timothy and Holly. The rest are half brothers, but I look at them as full brothers. So whenever I was growing up, I was real close to my brothers and sisters. I would do anything for them. Well. You know, we had a lot of dysfunction, right? So we weren't taught those roots by mom and dad. So we separated from each other. We lost grips. And when we all grew up, all my brothers and sisters, it was like we were living in different states, even though we were in the same city. And I don't want that to happen to you. See, after all that's been done, I love my brothers and sisters. And the open hand arms always to them but it has to be on God's time right and uh, I wish I could go back there's one thing I want to share with you whenever my mom was struggling on drugs and all of us before my big brother Anthony died I went up to him all this is when I was suffering too and I invited them all to the table I said hey let us all gather around this table and let's just share all of our hurts, hang-ups, and habits, and everything we've done wrong to each other. Let's just be open about it. That way we can get it all out, and then we can we can fight it out and hug it out kind of thing. But they, they turned me down. And see, instead of keep trying, I went into victim mode. I gave up. I ran. Right? But the Lord put it on my heart for a reason. To do that right because he loves us he loves you so i want you today to always have that vision of that table and always make sure your heart's in the right place where if the lord makes it available that you would seat at that table and you wouldn't let bitterness keep you away from it because the bitterness in my brothers and sisters and myself kept us from coming back together and now we're all just we're all over the place so my advice to you from this video is to keep enough love in your heart where you will always accept that seat at the table of forgiveness and reconciliation because i'm telling you it's a good thing